Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the engine coolant on 2016 to 2022 Lexus RX350 models. Uh, lift up the vehicle or drive onto some ramps so that you can actually access the undercarriage and get to the coolant drain plugs. If you're going to be lifting it up and make sure to use jack stands and the jacking points are right here on the pinch welds of the unibody. Next, remove the cover on the driver's side of the vehicle on the left side. There are a bunch of uh, screws, bolts, and clips holding it on. You can use a flat blade screwdriver to pop the clips out. A lot of times they break because they're old and brittle. Now the cover will come off. Locate the radiator drain plug right here. Now you can just open it and drain it into a suitable container. Uh, I like to put a piece of hose on it. So you can just use a 516 fuel line and that's gonna prevent uh, a lot of splashing when the coolant is dropping down. So this way you can take the hose, put it inside your container and then uh, open the drain plug and uh, let the coolant drain. So now it's draining and we'll give it some time. Once the coolant stops draining from the radiator drain, you can close it and remove the hose. To access the engine block drain, you will need to remove this cover here, which is located towards the rear of the engine. There is one clip, a push pin. So same deal, flat blade screwdriver takes it out. And then there are two uh, screws, 10 millimeter heads and two bolts right here. And then the cover will still be sort of held up by these uh, mounting clips. So you can uh, lift it up with a screwdriver a little bit like that and slide the cover out. There's one. And here's the other one. The engine block drain is located on the rear of the engine block underneath the exhaust manifold right there. I'm pointing at it. I can't get my hand all the way in there to uh, put my finger on it, but uh, that's where it is. You can see a 10 millimeter screw and a little uh, hose uh, spigot coming off of it. Install the hose onto the engine block drain. Use a long extension with a swivel and a 10 millimeter socket on the end. 
and get it onto the block uh, drain plug and open that and drain the coolant into the drain pan. Once the coolant stops draining, tighten the engine block drain to nine foot pounds or nice and snug if you're not using a torque wrench. That's good. Remove the drain hose. And in my case, the uh, swivel on the socket got stuck on there, so you'll need to get your hand in there and take it off. Reinstall the previously removed covers. Uh, replace any clips that you've broken. You can get them from an automotive parts store or from the dealership. And lightly tighten the bolts and the screws. They don't need to be super tight. You can go ahead and fill the engine with coolant so it uh, helps to have a funnel that can lock into the radiator cap and uh, that makes it definitely a little bit less messy you will need at least two jugs of toyota super long life coolant it's already pre-mixed uh, you may need just slightly more than two jugs so it wouldn't hurt to get three and then you can return one if you don't need it now when you're filling it uh, it's important to fill it nice and slow because if you fill it very fast, it's easier to get an airlock. So just take your time, don't rush it, and uh, keep filling it until the radiator and the engine block are full and there is coolant standing in the funnel. It will take a couple of minutes to do this with a nice slow stream. All right, so now we have some coolant in the funnel and uh, we can start the engine and start bleeding it. So what you're going to do it now is start the engine, turn the heater on full blast hot and uh, uh, rev the engine up and down uh, up to two, 3000 RPM and that's gonna speed up the water pump and help push any air bubbles out. So let's do that. And you will know that the coolant is fully bled when there are no more bubbles coming out of here and the heater is blowing really hot at idle. Um, if it's blowing hot uh, when you rev it up but then cold at idle, that means there's still an airlock there and the coolant's not circulating through the heater core. So the very hot uh, air at idle is a good indicator that your system is fully bled.
If the coolant level drops, top it up some more. And uh, keep doing this. Let it idle for a bit, then rev it up and down, and keep doing this until all the bubbling stops and it's blowing hot air at idle. Don't let the engine overheat. So if it starts getting past the uh, about half of the, or three quarters on the temperature gauge, shut it off and let it cool down for a bit. All right, so it's been about six or seven minutes. The engine is fully warmed up. There are no more bubbles coming out uh, of the radiator and it's idling and blowing really hot air. So that tells me the coolant is bled out. All the air bubbles are out of it. So now you can go ahead and shut the engine off. You can now take the funnel out, so if you have one like one that's made for doing coolant and it comes with a little plug, then open the overflow tank, take the cap off, and then you can pour some of the coolant in there. So uh, you, you always want to overfill it a little bit because the full mark on there is for um, when the engine is cold. So I overfill it by about three quarter inch to an inch. So there we go. Uh, this way, when it cools off, it will actually be at the proper full mark because uh, coolant expands when it's, uh, when it's hot. So as you can see, it's a little bit about full. Our full mark is right there. So let's go ahead and uh, put the cap on it, on the overflow tank. Take off this adapter that we used for the funnel. Put the radiator cap back on. Tighten it until it stops. And that is it. Close the hood, lower the vehicle or drive it off the ramps, and you're all done. Coolant replacement is completed. Thanks for watching. Please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.